would have a very difficult time if they were here struggling to keep my my uh, temper because they've never responded to anything you, when we had the tenants association they never personally responded we never saw them it was as if they didn't care and the way I looked at it was I understand that Tim Green has ALS and I understand it's a one-way street but I think the difference between him and someone else who is in the same ballpark is that despite that they're they're still doing things and not doing things that affect not just hundreds of people, thousands, within his properties because he owns so many now throughout a four state region. As far as I saw a few months ago, who knows, he's probably increased it since then. And if you consider how many people are in this building alone and other buildings that are like it, that's a lot of people and a lot of them are in the same boat, low income, subsidized rent in some way, not necessarily directly through HUD, but the agencies who he contracts with, they subsidize via the money they receive. And so it's a sweet deal. You're living off the taxpayer, yet you aren't necessarily tied into it. And so the fact that he is so largely responsible for not just making a lot of people's lives um, intolerable, He's also destroying neighborhoods. I mean, this neighborhood, I know it's not just the skyline, but the skyline has such a massive footprint in this part of James Street that real estate values go down. I mean, as a former property owner myself, when somebody had a house that was problematic and it went on for a long enough time, everybody's property values in that area would dip. You know? He doesn't seem to care. And so I find it very difficult to feel the natural, natural compassion and sympathy I normally would for somebody who's in his physical position. These boilers are way past their lifetime. This place was built in 1949, 1950, and they're original. They have to be replaced. As far as I know, he never did that. Instead, he keeps putting Band-Aids on things. It was like when the fire department came in, did an evaluation as to how we can best handle the inflow of people that don't live here that are here for nefarious purposes and they said well according to the, the floor plan that you have with all these entrances the best thing we can suggest is that you're going to have to build some kind of central booth of sorts and man it so that like in other buildings you can't get by them without being seen but he won't even have more than one security person on it and it was like pulling teeth just to get an actual licensed security outfit in here. And that only came about as a result of the handicap doors, which required, I mean, you've got doors that now open and people tag along. And those doors have to be timed a certain way to ensure that they don't close on somebody who's in a chair. Well, of course, that made it even worse. But rather than put the security person there like they should, they let it do its thing. Do you know how many times I've gone down there, my few times that I leave this apartment, and the doors don't even work, or they're broken, or the handles have been ripped off? Do you know how many times at three in the morning there's somebody kicking at the door that doesn't live here, but they want access to somebody here, and you can hear them screaming and yelling, kicking at that door at three in the morning, just kicking and kicking. And then if you're lucky, you go down the next day and you see that there's a broken glass all taped up. I mean, it's, like a, it's like a freaking ghetto in a 12-story apartment building. It's hard to maintain my composure when I think about this because I do at times get very angry. Um, and I know now it's not just him. It's also his son, Troy, who he has since made president of the um, Greenland Property Management Company, of which he created. Um, Never any response. Always a, always a wall. Um, his district managers and everything, all full stories and lies when we would meet with them. Um, I don't really have a good opinion of him at all or anybody like him.